Hello everyone and welcome to Composable Architecture in Swift UI using Redux. My name is Mohamed Hassan and I will be your instructor. When you're building Swift UI applications, you have several choices for your design patterns. You can use MVVM design pattern or you can use MVC design pattern. And for this course, we'll be using the Redux architecture. Redux architecture is actually quite famous in web applications, especially when you're designing your React applications. It allows you to provide a unidirectional flow for your data. Let's go ahead and check out the contents of this course. You will start by understanding the Redux design pattern and what problem it solves when building application. We are going to also learn about the store, reducers, state actions, and even middleware to give you a better understanding of the complete Redux architecture. Next, you're going to learn how to create a very simple Redux application. This application is going to allow you to exercise all the concepts and put them in practice. Next, you're going to learn about combining multiple reducers into a single root reducer. Combining multiple reducers will allow you to follow a single responsibility principle and each reducer will be responsible for updating only the slice of the global state. After that, you're going to learn about middleware and how middleware can be used to perform asynchronous requests and then dispatch actions to update the global state. Finally, you're going to take all the knowledge you learned in the previous sections and implement a real-world Movies app. The Movies app will integrate with OMDB API and allow the user to search and fetch details of a particular movie. And finally, you're going to learn how to create a location-aware app called Restroom Finder. Restroom Finder app is going to list all the closest restroom to your current location and it will even allow you to get directions to each location. I really hope that you will enjoy this course and you will implement the Redux architecture for your next Swift UI application. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started.